Let's take a look at the continuity through a limit switch and a sail switch right. to make sure we understand what we're looking at. Right, definitely. So this is the bimetallic yep, a bimetallic device. The thermal device. And it's normally closed, so we should have continuity, right? That's right. So basically, point. Three point four. That's got okay. continuity. So there's no resistance or very very little resistance through that. Mm -hmm. So what happens when this gets to a particular temperature? It, it turns it off, opens, yep. and no continuity. Okay. That's exactly right. Let's take a look at a sail switch. Sure. Here. So what are we looking for on a sail switch? Same well, thing. Sort of. I mean, it should without this paddle being on because this paddle pushes this little red button right here, and that's really the switch. So basically. With this undone, here we go. There, that's an open, so. Yep, and then if you push the paddle. Something we didn't say is you can do both these tests with before you actually pull this off. So if you're getting an E1 code, or even if you're seeing the fan only run for 30 seconds, you can get to the back of the furnace and check the limit switch. And you can get to the front of the furnace and check the sail switch. What typically goes wrong with this, like internally, or is yeah, this just like any other switch here, and it can't like mud daubers again, maybe dirt daubers. The switch just goes bad. Um, it's get used. It gets used a lot because obviously every time it turns on, it's turning that switch on and off. Imagine if you go to a light switch in your home and you turn it off and on sure. every five or ten, every ten minutes. So there is another way of doing this too. If you have it unplugged and on the bench. So between brown wire and the white wire. And that plug came off the main board? Yep. Okay. And as you, you can say, we have no continuity. But if I take this switch and go boop, you get continuity. And that tells you both the sales switch is good, the ECO is good, and the wiring is good. Oh, because you just went through the entire circuit. That's right.